Hello everyone and welcome to episode 11 of our Wizard 101 Let's Play series. Last episode we finished the Crocus Sphinx and this episode we are hopefully going to finish the Well of Spirits and by hopefully I mean I'm just going to keep going until I finish it. And episode 11 is going to be the last episode in Crocotopia. Greetings. Don't fear me with it, Crocopatch. To reach her, you will need a two-part cipher. The head of the Onik family has the first part deep inside the Onik tomb. Be careful. Okie okay, schmokey. Real quick, I'm going to show you guys a sneaky, sneaky little thing. Oh, there's, there's, the, there's the beetle. Now I only have one beetle left. This man has a side quest that I'll probably do at some point. Let's go to this Onik guy. Sorry if I'm, uh... A little bit like not as hyper today I have a bit of a headache let me close discord real quick because it's using up a decent amount of my CPU okay let's see if we can do a cheeky little crossing right there we go got some stone block wooden chest got some gold these deep mushrooms as well but yeah my dudes I'm really excited because after this episode we get to um, go to Marleybone I believe I also get hex at the end of this world as well excuse me excuse me let me get the stone block and the wooden chest. And let's battle this Onik dude. Okay, there's teleporters if already here, so. Come to pass in my glory, you must be punished. Okay, he has 800 health. Easy, my easy. We'll just wreck this dude real quick. Let me take a sip on my coffee. Put a uh, I'm just gonna chance it with the uh, sandstorm because I don't have uh, another blade to you know take off the thing. I don't actually think I don't think I did anything between the last episode and this episode. If I did, I'm sorry for not telling you guys, but I, I'm pretty positive I didn't. He fizzled. He's an imp, okay. But I believe I'm level 23, so that is good. Let's use a sandstorm. And this should kill the minion thing. But, uh, on the side, uh, I did show you guys a few episodes ago, I did get some death spells. I do plan on, um, getting up to faint. And once I get up to faint, I can, uh, solo bosses quite a bit easier. will kill him. <coughs> and bop. He got straight bopped. Alright. Back to the gross of, gross of Crocotep. 845 XP. Great job, young. Now you need I like this uh consistent eight hundred XP. It's really good. Desert family tune. Is it, is that pronounced Jeseret? De Jeseret, yeah. Jeseret? That would make sense. 
I feel like for most of my life I've, I've pronounced it as Deseret, but it's, I think it's definitely supposed to be pronounced Jezeret. I don't know why the D is there. I guess maybe to just make it look more uh, ancient Egyptian, you know? King Shemet. I might also, um, I'm not entirely positive, but I might do some side quests. Mad to challenge someone as great as me. I might do some like minor side quests throughout the Well of Spirits, just so I can uh, level up a bit faster. Okay, Sandstorm, Wells Scorpion. He actually has more health than the other other dude. What was his name? King Onik. Hey, there we go. Uh, let's put on a second balance blade. He's a leprechaun. Alright. Sandstorm. This episode might actually be shorter than most. By that I mean like 20 to 30 minutes because the Temple of Storms isn't that long from what I remember. And after this place, I'm pretty sure it's only like one more fight before that. So. This is a very short short uh, area. Alright, let's use the scorpion. Lightning bats. Okay, you're dead. And there's the cipher. You've done well, but your Krako Pacha rules from the the side. Okay, yeah. So this is actually this world this or this part of the world is super easy because I've already technically completed those two streets. It just feels like such a like weird waste of world, you know? Like I realize I alliterated that a little bit, but it's just like there's these areas these huge areas in the uh, Tomb of Storms that just aren't used. <laughs> like, there are side quests here, but the main quest only has one quest in each part of it, and then you're done. Sorry for the water heater in the background. Yeah. Alright. Salad Kafir. I'm actually going to go over here because the beetle's over here. And actually there's a wooden chest right here. 17 gold, hell yeah. We'll go down here. I love the uh, elemental theme though that the last part of Krokotopia does. It's definitely very like, uh, it, it's themed nice. And it feels good, you know? It's, uh, a fire, ice, then storm. Marleybone, I would say, is more of like myth and storm. But maybe I'm just uh, generalizing. Obviously, there's more than that in both worlds, but... There's a chamber down here. Is there someone here? No? Okay. Some spooky spiders. There's Kiwu. He is a green mander. Which is quite interesting. There isn't many green manders in this world. For those of you that never have done it, uh, in Hatch Out Dim's quest, it's 
he gives you backstory on it. Um, there's green manders, red manders, blue manders, and purple manders. And those manders each have a school. All manders were originally green, and then the fire ones turned red or orange. The uh, ice ones turned blue, and the storm ones turned purple. Quite interesting. There's some Mandalore lore for you. Mandalore. You will test your might against me, and you will fail. Why even try, weakling? Yeah, all right. Oh, he's gonna be easy. I should be able to take him out with only one sandstorm. Power pip? Nah, dang it. They passed so like twice in a he passed twice in a row though. So he's even gonna get to live to put a spell on me. I actually think I just I finished that fight with full health. That's interesting. I was like, yeah, I'll probably or I was thinking in my head, I'll probably do two battles, then use a potion, then do the other two and use the other potion. But no. <laughs> I shouldn't even need to use a potion. After the next battle anyway. I was trying to get more monstrous, but my other accounts don't have a membership, which makes it quite hard. I wonder what's in here. Because there's like these two rooms right here that aren't used. Sorry, there's a stone block over here. Ooh, two stone blocks and a fossil. It would be quicker if you just admitted defeat now. He should have like 600 health, if I, if I remember correctly. Yeah, 600. Okay. Let's do this and this. Perfect. He passed. Good for him. That's a fizzle, so that was a dark sprite then. Okay, didn't get a power pip. That's annoying. And there's two. And let's use the sandstorm. He should be dead. I don't actually. I haven't been paying attention. Okay, so he's not. He's losing seven now. Huh? Just to inform you guys, I have a friend that would be fine with helping me through the harder dungeons, so um, you'll probably be seeing him when I actually do get to those harder dungeons. Alright, there's two out of three. Two out of four, I mean. Curious, what's in, what's in here? Oh, it's another blocked off room. I wish I knew what was in here. Is there any way to see? Doesn't look like there's any real way to see. That's annoying. Because there's like these three open rooms in the middle that just don't have anything in them. Alright. Fool! If you do not bow before me, you will fall before me. Let's see. 700 health. Let's um, enchant one of those and do one spell. That means I should be able to kill him with the one spell after I bleed in sandstorm. It's a blade. <laughs> Spooky fairy. <laughs> Excuse me. 
excuse me. I don't know if I've actually said this uh, yet. I probably have, but how I'm delaying Grizzleheim, I'm definitely going to do it after Dragon's Fire. It's going to be Marleybone, Mushu, Dragon's Fire, then Grizzleheim, and uh, Winter Tusk, then Celestia. I actually might, um, I'll, I'll take a break after Marleybone, though, and do Wisteria, which should only take, like, two or three episodes. Alright. Last one. I'm pretty sure that guy barely did any damage to me. Maybe, like, 200 at most. Karahan Mortifier. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting names. Alright. I do not recognize you. Therefore, my face is the last one you will see. Prepare yourself for pain, wizard. He has 900 health. Do that. <laughs> Ouch. Okay. And we'll do another balance blade. I realize I'm like my first uh, Croc Crocotopia episode. I actually called a dragon blade like three times in a row. And I'm like, that isn't right. Hmm. Oh. Excuse me. For those of you that don't know, dragon blade is the, um, is the name of the, uh, balance blade that pets give. It's like a card. It gives plus 35 balance. I wish that they could make that like a learnable card, but eh. Ouch. 326, that's actually decent damage. Power pip? Nope, okay. I'll just kill him with Scorpion next round. Oh, he passed. And bop. And you're done. Oof. Alright. Let's... Go back to Krakatep. You did it. You see, I was the... But you, a stranger, it's time for... You must... Alright. This is it, guys. Crocopatra, last boss. Only took us 11 episodes to make it here. So it's pretty good. How many episodes have we finished Croc in? We started... Croc was on episode 7. So 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So that's 5 episodes. That's pretty good. We finished Wizard City in 4 episodes, so... Not bad at all. Alright, let's see. Wooden chest, hell yeah. If I remember correctly, we earned like quite a few 900s here, so maybe we'll actually level up to 24. I hope we do. Yeah, Alright. Krakotep ensured only the worthy could enter the inner sanctum. If you dare, step onto the teleporter at my right to try the test of strength. See if you can defeat the son of Saw. Okay. Let's do this in like two scorpions then. One. How much health do you have? 
two seventeen. No, I'll have to challenge. Dang it. Alright, that's fine. <laughs> Tempestra. A female ghost, theoretically. Okay. Dead indeed. The Soul Sapper. He's gonna have a bit more health, right? Like 700? 750. Alright. Let's go. Yeah, we'll, we'll stick to the Sandstorm and then we'll do a Beast uh, Scorpion if all goes well. And, oh, that was two Power Pips in a row. That's nice. You are dead. 620. It's like 100 something. Yeah. A ghoul. Oh, I'm, a, I'm actually not going to kill him now, am I? Wait, no. Hmm. I might not, actually. Unless I do maximum amount of damage. Which I didn't do. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, now he's dead. Perfect. <laughs> Alright, Son of Storms. Seven fifty. Let's go for a uh, scorpion with uh, blade on. This should do like five hundred damage, which is half of its health. And I'll just get a scorpion to do the other half. I got two power pips in a row again, so that's pretty good. I think Crocopatra has like twelve hundred health, so. I'll need to be ready to deal with that. 1200 health is gonna be like, that's like two sandstorms, or two and then like one wand spell. All right, how much health is he at? Okay, this will kill. Hmm. I'm Snake. Let's pop you. And there we go, there's one of the tests done. The test of strength. You have passed the test of strength. We value intelligence as well as strength. Think you're clever enough? Then step onto right. the teleporter at my left. Those things that live must shine bright. Those things that do not live must remain dark. Okay, this one's easy. This one is just turn off the suns and turn on the moons. Can I not turn them off? Oh, I missed one. So this one, I actually already know. This is Sun Tree and then Snake Beetle. from that but I will level up from Zeke. That sounds good.
love this soundtrack so much. Okay, let's go in here. Spooky. Actually, let's get some health wisps first. Rather not waste a potion. Okay, that's really annoying. He's walking like uh, it's almost the same speed as that wisp. Oh, you... Okay. I'll just deal with this real quick. I'll cut this out. I'll see you guys when I'm done. Alright, everyone. I am back. Um, you guys didn't see it, but... Um, when I was trying to eat health, I got caught. And then I... <laughs> And then after getting caught, I uh, won the battle. So uh, I went to go fight Crocopatra, and then I got absolutely ass luck, and I fizzled four times in a row, and then died. <laughs> so now I'm back. It's my first death on this character. That's great. Oh, and that's a weakness. God damn it. Like, I'm not even, like, exaggerating. I, I fizzled four times in a row, and then died. Alright. That's not gonna kill anyone. Because of the weakness. That's a third of her health gone. Okay, let's kill this guy with like a wand spell or something. Yeah. So I don't take any more damage than I have to. She's gonna end up like sunburning me. Yeah. Okay. Let's bleed. Give me a power pit, please. Nope, okay. This episode will end up being a good uh, 20 minutes long or 30 minutes long, so that's fine. That's fine. I was worried that this episode was going to be too short, but it's it's an okay episode. Episode length. I try to make all my episodes like around 30 minutes, but it really just depends on how many streets I finish. That's annoying. Um, let's do that. Okay, that's fine. And let's use a scarab. Not a scarab, sorry, a scorpion, and die. That went much better than the last battle. And she's dead. Okay, Your right. triumph means nothing, your eyes see. Crocopatra's laughter echoes in the empty chamber until silence okay. reigns at last. Amazing. You have done very well. I'm sorry you did not find the cro The strangers here fought bravely against the Tut army and should know you have ended the threat. Return to the surface and report your success. Alright. So, you defeated the mighty Crocopatra, have you? Without a leader, the touch should be easy to manage now. It's something inside the sarcophagus of the... Take this Marlebone spiral key and go through the spiral door to Marlebone. Private Kinsley will help you find that book you're after. You've got to recover it before it's used for evil. We have finished... Um... Crocotopia. We're level 24 and good pretty crazy. darn good. I'm a good. And there you go, even more XP. So that'll be it for this episode, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed. If you did, drop a like. Um, and if you want to stick around, feel free to subscribe. Um, I'll see you guys in the next episode and have a good day.